This is artifacts from Mars. And maybe you ought to get the kids out of the room. I'll try to restrain my tongue. I wanted to talk about this subject about all these federal agencies arming themselves. Now, the latest one is the USDA, Department of Agriculture, is arming them, wants to buy a bunch of submachine guns. If you want to know what a submachine gun is, just think about the Thompson submachine guns in the 1920s. Only these aren't Tommy guns. They want to buy uh, submachine guns. Now this is just the latest in a whole string of federal agencies that are arming themselves to the teeth. And there's another story that I have on my chat group, Tyranny Watch on Yuku that uh, kind of jives with this. <sighs> the uh, military has been uh, training using the zombie theme uh, for training ostensibly for a natural disaster. And they tra they're training with zombies, but if you read between the lines, let me explain what that what this means. Uh, what do you do in wartime, folks? Well, one of the things you do is you dehumanize the enemy. Now, who's the enemy? Well, they consider you and I to be the enemy. Obama administration considers you and I to be the enemy. And essentially what this whole zombie thing is, is wartime propaganda. Except that they're not formally at war with us, at least not yet. But it's still wartime propaganda. They're dehumanizing the enemy. They consider you and I the sheeple, the people of this country, they consider us to be the enemy. And the reason they use zombies in their training is to dehumanize the enemy. That way, your soldiers don't have as much problem mowing them down. It's simple and basic. It's the standard wartime propaganda. It's not even, there's no arguing at this point. Alright. So, we have these federal agencies arming themselves to the teeth. We have the U.S. military using what is essentially wartime propaganda to dehumanize the people who are considered to be the enemy. And we have a bunch of elitist uh, oligarchs running the country. Your vote, folks, let me explain something. Your vote is meaningless at this point. They're not, they're not concerned with what you want. They're just moving ahead and taking over this country. And they're preparing for war against us. Uh, this is what this amounts to. The evidence is all around. The police departments the police are looking more like the military and the military is being disarmed. You see, they don't want to protect us from the bad guys from the outside, but they're arming all these civilian organizations to the teeth. Now let's look at one of Barack Obama's promises before the first time he ran. And by the way, I refuse to call this asshole a president. I've heard him called a resident without the P. That works for me. He's a resident of the White House, but he's not a president. But let's look at his original promise. His promise was... He needed 
a civilian army that was as strong and powerful as the U.S. military. And I'm thinking, yeah, right, well, our military has nukes. How are you going to do this? Look what he's been doing. He's disarming our military. He's eliminating our nuclear deterrent. And he's drastically shrinking the size of our military. Our navy's going by the wayside. Army's being shrunk. Marines are all gone. They're all going. So by the time this scumbag, and especially the uh, next one, which has been chosen by the media to be Hillary. The media and the parties have chosen her. Your vote's meaningless. She's going to be in there in 2016 unless she croaks or something. So, what they're going to do is completely disarm the military down to, dare I say, World War I levels of technology. And at the same time, they're arming all these federal agencies. You see, they're not doing this to protect you. They're doing this because they consider us to be useless feeders. Useless eaters. This is what the elites call us. They call us useless feeders, useless eaters. Now, what does this mean? Well, I hearken back to the zombie story. Uh, it's, they say that we're uh, basically zombies. They're portraying us as the enemy. They dehumanize us. What are zombies? They're useless eaters. So, what you have here, their plan appears to be to virtually eliminate U.S. military. They'll still have machine guns and some weapons. There'll be some military enough to stave off any small invasion. But the nukes are going to be gone. The Navy's going to be reduced to a few rowboats. Thanks to Obama. Just kidding, but you get my point. There won't be much left of them. And at the same time, all these federal agencies, post office, uh, USDA, Department of Education, whole long string of them. DHS, of course, they're arming for war against the American people. Either they're arming for an invasion, or they're arming for war against the American people. It doesn't look like to me that they intend, they're thinking about an invasion from the outside. I'm thinking that they're arming for war against us. All they gotta do, which they're gonna do gradually, they're gonna start cutting down our food supply. You understand how this works? This is what how they did it in Ukraine in uh, the old Soviet Union. This is why a lot of Ukrainians hate the Soviet Union. But now you have Russians disguised as Ukrainians. They took over uh, the Crimea. They posted that phony vote in the eastern Ukraine place. These are Russians. They're not. They're taking over Ukraine piece by piece. And a lot of Ukrainians hate the Russians. And for good reason. It's because the Russians starved more Ukrainians than Hitler ever killed Jews. It's a fact. And that was a long time ago, of course. So was Holocaust. I have no love at all of uh, the Nazis. So... Here's the basic thing. I'm going to summarize. All these federal agencies are arming themselves against the American people. 
They're either playing and using the guns against invaders, or they're playing to use them against us. And I would say they're probably playing to use them against us. You gotta wake up, folks. I'm just ashamed this is happening in this country. I just can't believe it. It doesn't look good. You know, reduce the size of the military. We'll see to it they're armed to fight us, of course. They're dehumanizing us with a zombie thing. Uh, the whole zombie thing is BS. I mean, there's no such thing. There's no such thing as human zombies like you see in the movies. Let me put it that way. There are some in na some creatures in nature. There's some parasites and stuff that cause some creatures to be essentially zombies, but that's a whole other discussion. So they're dehumanizing us, teaching all these federal workers and the military. They use the zombies to say, "This is going to be your enemy." They're not human. It's okay to shoot them. They arm all these federal agencies because Obama promised that we need this civilian army as powerful as the military. Well, in order to do that, you have to bring the military down and you have to bring the bottom up, right? And he's doing exactly what he said he would. He's arming... He's creating a civilian army within the U.S. government. All these different agencies, DHS, uh, USDA, Post Office, Department of Education, the list goes on and on. He is creating a civilian army. And it's for use against us. Why the hell else? The U.S. D.A. need submachine guns. Come on. And they're dehumanizing us, like I said. That's standard wartime propaganda. The methods are different, but... The method is different from anything I've seen. But every country does it in wartime. They dehumanize the enemy. The zombies are just the latest uh, kick. I mean, Japanese de dehumanized us, we dehumanized them, Nazis, the communists, all dehumanized their enemy. Because you want your soldiers to go out and kill without remorse. As long as the enemy isn't human, you feel it's alright to kill, 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 kill. Standard wartime propaganda was dehumanizing the enemy. So they're doing that with the zombie thing. They're arming these federal agencies against us and they're disarming our military. Getting rid of the nukes, getting rid of the ships, getting rid of the bombers. And they've done away with our space program. Our space program is gone. Finished. It's out of there. It doesn't exist anymore. We have to depend on the goddamn Russians. We have to depend on the goddamn Russians to get up in the space. Now the Russians are saying, hey, you're putting sanctions on us? Screw you. You're not going to use that space station no more. We're not going to take you up there. Screw you. It's a big tangled mess. But they're preparing a war against us. It's a fact. And if people don't... I've said this before. Buy guns. Buy guns. Buy guns. Buy guns, people. And stand ready. We're not the ones who are spoiling for a fight. It's the federal government that's spoiling for a fight. They're at war with us. We're not at war with them. This hasn't turned into a hot war. This is a cold war. It's an internal war. It's 
started by the residents of White House. Well, actually, it started by the Bushes, if you go back in history, so... Let's just say the residents of the White House. They are at war with us, it just hasn't turned into a hot war. It's a cold war from inside. Wake up, people. Buy guns. Buy ammunition. Get in your groups. Practice. And stand ready. I'm Artifacts of Mars.